Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alone in the Dark. We're doing uh, Emily's campaign now, although it's very similar to uh, Edward's campaign. Oh, is it not? What is the Dark Man, do you know? The Black Sun. He's... Okay, I'm just skipping this. This is an achievement for talking to everybody starts. about everything. I know, I, I, well, I shouldn't care about achievements because I'm not going to get all enough. of them. But for some reason, I just want to get that. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, we're playing as Emily. We're going through her side of the game. It's very similar to Edward's in almost every way so far, except that the cutscenes are a little different uh, and the conversations are a little different. But uh, here we go. <sighs> Noise. There's actually something I want to experiment with in this section. So, you know how in the main game... Or the main game. You know how in Edward's um, version of events, in this part, if you point at the dark man with the pistol, one of my favorite things happens. One of my favorite little details. He ends up pointing the gun at himself if you try to shoot the dark man with the pistol. But what happens if you try to shoot the dark man with a shotgun? Do you aim it up? At your chin? I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what will happen, because... Typically, you don't have the shotgun right here at this part. You have that a little later because you haven't gotten all the lanyops for it. But since this is our second playthrough, we already have it, which is great. Great. Oh, okay. Um, let's go. I think it's. Is it right here? No, it's up another floor. I think it's... Is it right here? Is this it? Yeah. Okay, we got the key of Ubertus. Okay. Can you go down, please? Sorry. Okay, now... He should teleport or right over here. Oh. <laughs> I shot myself in the head. I want to see what happened if you shot. Crazy. Okay. Let's try with the uh, shotgun now. Oh, okay. Interesting. So if you if you aim at him with the shotgun, it switches to the pistol. I think he's still right there, isn't he? Ah, come on. Okay. We gotta get him over here. Come on this way, please. Whenever you're ready. Yo! Hey, this way! Hey! Dark man! Hey! What is he doing? Come on! This part is not the game's uh, strongest part. Uh 
Okay, I guess we just run past him. That works too. I don't know. Okay, let's go up. Okay, and then we just hide here. You can't see him, but yeah, there he is. Holy hell, man. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> I'm over here, idiot. Okay. I think we're good now. Oh boy, it's so loud right there. I'd love to... Okay, I think we gotta go this way. All right, thank you. We'll see how this scene goes. This is probably gonna be a little different than Edward's. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prex shipping company pressing their contribution. Emily! found what you were looking for, Emily. I fear there is no going back. He's in my head, Juan. His breath replacing mine. You should not have come, Emily. For some giggle water. Giggle water? <sighs> what a wholesome Ugh. term for it. Oh, Miss Hartwood, don't tell me you've been out swinging without me. Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. Tell me, Miss Hartwood, have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the Grand Parlor and suddenly here I am. The Grand Parlor? Can I get back to Dorsetto from here? <laughs> Are you sure you want to? We could stay here and drink the night away. How about a gin fizz? If this is New Orleans, maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Preg's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? <laughs> Jeremy talked a lot about the dark man. I always felt a bit envious. 
How so? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty to offer. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. We're too sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> You don't happen to know how to find the Preg Shipping Company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. Whoa, what happened? You just got lucky. <laughs> A bientôt, Mademoiselle Emily. Hey, do you know where my uncle is? No, but I bet you're close. Hmm. <clears throat> I got a matchbook lanyap. Oh, really? Wait, didn't I already get? I already got this one. It like gave me a duplicate lanyap. It was in okay. the hot autumn that I went through the night with the. Interesting. Okay. Um. Company. According to the book in the Great Library, they assisted a showman performing somewhere in New Orleans. It's somehow connected to- It's locked from the other side. Oh, sorry. I should have known that that would cut you off. My bad. Uh, sorry guys. Whoops-a-daisy. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can, uh... Here we go. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna get you. Okay, that sucks. Come here. Nice. Got him. Alright, only well, took like eight throwables. Oh my god. All right, see, see, see. Okay, there's the uh, there's a map. Way through the sewers. We don't need that. We gotta go. Oh yeah, we gotta go around. That's right. Oh. Thank you for the health drink, I guess. Wait, do I have this? Oh, there it is. I was like, do I still have the pickaxe? I do. Now this isn't open. I think there's a way around. Let's pick up the sledgehammer. Can I come down, please? Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah. Stevedore's key. There's a guy coming, isn't there? Good. Now, there wasn't anything else in here, right? Oh. There's like a stone you can pick up. But, nope. I guess that's it. Can't remember what the stevedore's key is for. Let's see, I think... Something over here? No, I think it's over here we do... Yeah, we use it on this thing. We got it. And then there's like three of them that come up, right? All done. Fantastic.
We did it! Now we gotta wait for the fire to go down. Let's just run through it. Ah, now we're good. Now I'm pretty sure all the lanyards that were still missing are all on chapter four. Could be wrong, but according to the guide that I was looking at, they're all in chapter four. So we can pretty much speed run through chapter three. It's weird. It seems like there should be more to these sewers than there end up being. Ow. Thank you. Alright, keep going. Like, I remember being like, uh, when I was down here and the first time I was like, well, how do you get to the other side of this? What's over there? But you never end up going over there. Especially since on the map it's like there's a sewer entrance yeah. here, sewer entrance here, you know. All right, I made it inside the warehouse. Now let's find that address. Let's see, let's take a drink there, and then we'll take this one. Now I believe everything is upstairs. Did y'all hear that? Damn! Watch out. Oh, right, the Tommy gun. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. What a what a weird reaction. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, oh, she. Okay, now if I remember correctly, it's uh 4 5 4 Okay, wait, it must be this way. Four, five, four. Yeah, the easier way. Uh, Cargo manifest. This um, is it. The address to the theater. Oh. Where Jeremy first met the dark man. Isn't that incredible? I can't wait to go there. What I'm really looking forward to is when we go to uh, chapter four and we get to see her perspective on her story. I'm guessing with John Marcus. Okay, did we get all of them? Yeah, I think we did. Just two throwables and uh, they were done. Whoa. Will I die if I go through there? That's like a raging inferno. Yeah, we're good. Just a little, we got a little smoky. We got a little smoky, but we're good. Okay, and then here we are in the temple. We'll talk with Jeremy again. We still gotta go through the desert temple, don't we? Yeah, we got a couple other things to do too. And then we'll be in the finale. You shouldn't have Chapter come. Chapter five. Don't say that. You needed my help. All I wanted was to keep people away from Dissetto. Especially you, Emily. You're the only one in the family who forgave me for choosing old age over death. Father still cares for you? He is paying for your treatment at Dissetto. To get rid of me! That's the only reason anyone's at Dissetto. To get rid of you? Someone in the family thought you were becoming an embarrassment. Help me get you out of this mess, Jeremy. I want to take you away. Your father would send me right back. What if I take you up north, to Kingsport? I know Mother still has family up there. I've been thinking about going for a while now. 
I haven't been to Massachusetts in years. I still paint from memory, you know. That old lighthouse makes for a great motif. Your father and I would go almost every summer. Then when our great uncle died, we stopped going back. What is there to be done about the dark man? He's the one holding you back, right? You feel like you can't leave without paying your debt to him. The dark man has been with me since I was 12 years old. He was standing right on that stage right over there. For a brief moment, his gaze held mine. And that was it. I recognized him for what he was. The heart would guys embodied in flesh. I thought it was my turn. But I was only there to be mocked. Instead, his attention moved on to my father sitting next to me. I turned to him and saw his face. The whitest shade of pale I've ever seen. He bit off his tongue that night and suffocated. What? <laughs> what can be done, Jeremy? Please. What? There's a way. <laughs> Two ways to be exact. One voice and the other. A written contract now buried inside his sunken temple. Don't you remember what it said? <gasps> I don't want to. Try, Jeremy. What did the contract say? No, we can't. We can't let New Orleans suffer that blight. I have to make this sacrifice. What are you talking about? Is this the thing from the bayou? Juan said something. Ah! Okay. okay, so there is a way to break the pact, at least. Hidden somewhere inside the Dark Man's temple. I just need to find it. Somehow. Right. Oh, yeah. I need the cipher for this, and I don't have it because I didn't use it. Okay, so you know what that means. Uh, we gotta find... We're gonna have to cheat. With the puzzle solution. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's sort of cheating, but... <laughs> 258 is what it says. Um, let's see. Well, this one's definitely 5. And then this one's going to be... There we go. Yeah, I hate to do it, but I never picked up the cipher because I was being too much of a show off. Hey, I remember the exact combination. Oh, wait, sorry. What am I doing? Oh, you go inside. Okay. We missed it opening up. My bad, y'all. Yeah, we gotta go through the tunnel. This is probably gonna take... Honestly, I think, looking back, this was, like, probably my least favorite area Whoa. from the first run. Just not a, not a fan of it. I don't know. It's just too, like, out of left field, I think. <clears throat> too different from the rest of it. And from what I understand, this part isn't in the 1992 version of the game at all. In fact, none of the places where you leave Dorsetto are from the 1992 game. They were all additions for this one. And I don't... I don't mind them doing that for like a reimagining or whatever. Or even a remake. I like to think that uh, these type of games are in three different categories now. It used to just be remake. Just flat out remakes. But now there's... there's remakes... There's remasters, and there's reimaginings. And I feel like reimaginings are becoming more common. And I actually, I think I prefer reimaginings over remakes. Like... I think Resident Evil 2... The Resident Evil 1 remake is like straight up a remake. Like that's... 
Um, like the one from 2001. Wow, they're invincible. The the 2001 for the GameCube. Okay, you can do this, Emily. Um, you need to get down there somehow. And that's like one of the best remakes of all time. However, like the Resident Evil 4 remake is more of a reimagining. Because they, they shuffle things around a lot. The story hits the same beats mostly, but they change just a lot about it. So I would count that as like a reimagining. This game I would say is a reimagining of the first Alone in the Dark, you know, 1992. Constellation Taurus. The big star is El Dubrin. It's something to do with the Dark Man. And so... Um... Yeah, I think I kind of prefer that. I like I like having a, a completely new experience. That makes things feel... I don't know. More interesting to me. This is definitely where the contract is hidden, but how do I get to it? Now, let's see if I remember what to do here. Uh... Emily felt a wave of... Use the old temple mechanisms. Sorry if I sorry if I skip um her talking, but oh here we go, this is a lever. Leave her, I barely know her! Where? Come on, fly through it. Oh, uh... Yeah, a lot of people get that mixed up. Like, remasters are the ones that I hear about the least. It's like, there's some games out there that are just remasters. Like, when was Resident Evil 1 Remake came out on PC, it was the Resident Evil Remake Remaster, which was a little confusing, I guess. Yeah. But a lot of people were like, Remake? That's the same as the 2001 version. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a remaster. Hmm. That's why it says a remaster on it. Something missing. Something's a remaster if like the only thing that changes about it are the graphics and the presentation. Um, but they're like sharpened up for HD, really. I think this one moves. It's a remake if it has new graphics, but it also has like, you know, maybe new voice acting. The models look completely different. Like they don't use the same model, just a sharper image of it. Um, a remake is like developed from the ground up. Cause they 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 remake it. Get it? Okay, let's see if we can get these guys. I'll be honest, I'm not like talking super clearly right now, and that's because I'm trying to concentrate on like a couple different things. Where are they? That one's dead. I think they're dead? I don't know. It come won't. here, you idiots. Aw, oh, come here. Come on. Oh, I got him, I got him. That was really funny. Okay. Now then, what was I doing? Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Oh, that one's already open? Oh, I guess I'm supposed to hit this one. Okay. Nice. Anyway, I'm sure I could do a better job explaining that when I'm not having my attention halved. You know, you'd think for someone who's done this for like 15 years, I'd be better at doing this by now. I guess it's more like 12. I, I, I try to skip ahead and say like 15. I've been doing it for 15 years. Haven't hit 15 yet. Been doing it since uh, 2011, so 13 years. So that's a long time. But not quite 15 yet. But yeah, you'd think as someone who's done this for that long that I would have uh, mastered it by now, but... Nope. 
You know, I can play guitar, but I can't play guitar and sing at the same time. There's just something about it that doesn't connect to me. Having to split your brain in half, and have one half of your brain concentrating on playing the guitar, and the other half concentrating on singing, it doesn't work for me. I can't do it. Same thing as, like, uh... Sometimes, sometimes playing the game while talking is kind of like that. I don't know, sometimes I can do it. It depends on what I'm doing. And how much concentration I'm having to get it, give it. Wow, that... That snake is going through the stone wall right there. Very impressive. Yes. Yes. Um... Yeah, I don't know, I guess I go over here and do this stuff? Okay, yeah, that's right. I was trying to remember exactly what to do. Get this thing, please? Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how difficult this is to do sometimes. I think some people think, like, I can do that easy! And, like, yeah, you can do it, like... But can you do it well? That's kind of the... The big test right there, right? Like, technically you can do it? But, like, if you do it and suck at it, then does that really count? You know, like, uh, technically I could probably play the oboe. But would I make anything resembling music? And if I, if I didn't, then would that really count? You know? Uh, I'm gonna go up there, I guess. I could blow into it, though, and move my fingers around. <laughs> that sounds kind of bad. But you get what I mean. Oh, I, I got three of them right there. Ah, oh, <laughs> I got them good, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yes. Oh, I used the shotgun. Overkill. Overkill. Gained the lead. Lost the lead. Let's go this way. And in here. No thanks. Oh, you want to go? I got my ads. Yeah, that's what this is called, an ads. I thought it was an adsy, but as it turns out, it's called an ads. So there you go. Learn more every day. Uh, let's get this. Alright, I'm not- I'm not talking trash, okay? But there's- there's a, uh, there's a YouTube channel out there called, like, uh, Smarter Every Day, and it just makes me laugh every time I hear it. I'm sure it's a fine YouTube channel. <laughs> but just the name makes me laugh. Smarter Every Day. Oh, what, you want a fucking cookie? I'm constantly learning. Great. Bully for you, bro. Do I go back this way? Uh, let's see. Did we do this? Okay, so I think I go over to that one. Yeah, I think so. Really sure, actually. Does it go to this one? We did it. 
noise. I think I think you should try to get smarter every day. But uh You know, maybe don't brag about it so much. You kind of undo a lot of the good that you did if you brag about it. Know what I mean? Like, what's the point of being smarter if you're more, like, insufferable to be around? It's just some food for thought. If you're smarter, technically smarter, but like nobody wants to be around you, then what was the point? How can you use it to make the world a better place? It's gonna be impossible. Oh, come on. Ah, you little dickhead. Anybody else? Huh? You know what? I love the dodge. This is ready to collapse. Yes. That's why we're leaving. Very good. All the blood trail. Did we make it? No. Or do we do this? I was like, we're sealed inside. Oh yeah, the snake dagger thing. I forgot. Acknowledge psychological trauma. Break through the barriers of self-deceit, temper, manic behavior. Is this it? Is this the contract? You know, it's funny, with this method of storytelling, it's like very opaque about what's really Jeremy, happening. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. Emily, what are you doing? Oh, Detective. Edward. Uh, how is your investigation going? Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics planning to perform some kind of ritual tonight. Well, that sounds ridiculous. I rather would have just a day ago. It gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. Oh, really? Detective, have you encountered any monsters tonight? I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, <laughs> the author, Perosi, the <laughs> singer, Mr. Waits, the clerk, Mr. Chance, the gardener, they're all missing. No, I mean... Have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange in anywhere else? What are you trying to tell me, Emily? Are you in some kind of danger? Let me drive you back to New Orleans. I think I have enough. You know, at least get the... Please take a look at this case. No, I'm fine. Thank you, detective. I'll find your uncle, Miss Harwood. Just stay out of trouble. Oh wait, we're not gonna... Oh yeah, all this stuff. We're not gonna go into the... Oh man. 
But I've got... Oh, well. Oh, man. Okay, so wait, what did I get? I got the sacrificial dagger. That's what I got. I'm still missing lanyops from all of these. I got the sheet music, but I'm missing those two. It was now, almost night when Chapter four should be when I get the others. According to my research. It's getting rough up there. No, it's fine. So this is the uh, this is the moment when we can't miss the goings on. Oh. If we could just get rid of Jeremy, everything will go back to normal. That reminds me. I saw Miss Emily earlier. You remember her? You know she's Jeremy's niece. She's looking for me. That's right. She's helping us in her own way. As long as she don't stand in the way of the mother of a thousand young. <laughs> I don't think she knows she cares about that. She just here for Jeff. Are you feeling nauseous? I've been more worried about that detective Carmen fella. He's been snooping around asking all kinds of questions. God, it hurts. Calm, Pear. I wish you would stop doing that. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, yeah, with this uh, with this method of storytelling, it's it's pretty opaque, right? It's like. It's not really clear on what's literally happening versus what's, you know, like an allegory or what's not, um, it's kind of, kind of figurative. It's one of those games. It's like, for example, at the end of Edward's campaign, when he attacks, um, the dark man and, uh, Dr. Gray, is inside the costume. Oh, here's the rot. Check it out. It's like, is that something that's literally happening or not? I guess the answer is no. It's like you kind of can't trust what you're seeing. You can't trust what you're what is going on? being told. No, we can't go back through there. No. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It kind of makes it hard to keep up with. We must have. In my opinion, and um I don't love it. It also makes me like kind of check out a little bit mentally. Like I feel like the story is probably the strongest part Lunar. of this whole game. It's certainly not the gameplay, no offense. But um yeah, I don't know, it's just... Okay, let's see. I think we'll go... Yeah, we gotta go into the conservatory, right? Whatever. I kind of prefer more overt... Storytelling, personally. I know it's supposed to be like more mysterious or whatever this way, but I don't don't like Mrs. it as much. I feel like, especially with a game, there's so much to concentrate on gameplay-wise that I don't really have a ton of energy to put into keeping up with the story too. Especially when I'm like recording it and I'm thinking about like the video that I'm making. Also, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Uh, for me to keep track of. Well, that said, I do appreciate that at the end of this game, they show us what happens with, um... The mother of a thousand young. And everything. It's kind of a cool payoff to everything leading up to that moment. Because you do kind of spend most of the... Most of the game being like, what is, what is really happening? Can I trust anything that I'm learning? Especially in this, in these cutscenes with, in these cutscenes with, uh, you know, oh, Edward. Wait, maybe I do. Huh. 
Edward or Emily, you know, and the other person's just like, what are you talking about? Have I ever fired my gun? No. What a stupid question, you know? Um, let's see. 913, that's right. 913. Okay. Oh, oops. I always do it the wrong way. Nine. One. Three. It worked. It sure did. The last... Thank you. Here we are. Dr. Gray's office. Now let's see if we can find some answers. Definitely. Oh, the stairwell key. We can go down to the uh, basement, right? I have finished tidying up Miss Miss Beauregard's belongings. Okay, we got the France thing, and it's still pink in here. Is there something that we didn't get? Oh, Dear Jeremy's Stop. treatment. Just making sure that we're good. Oh, we're still pink. How are we still pink? Did it do this to me in Edward's campaign? Yeah, it's still pink, but like we've clearly got everything. There was a couple of times when this happened in Edward's campaign where I clearly got everything in a room, but then it was like, no, nope. no, you didn't. It's still pink. Kind of defeats the purpose of that being on the map a little bit. This can't be. What's going on? Oh, okay. Now what, what, Emily uh... Emily felt lost as she... Oh yeah, the infirmary. Emily felt lost. But we can't go... Right there, yet. Can't go through the piazza. We can't go through the second. We gotta take the long way around. Wait, how do we get... Okay, I'm remembering doing this now. Alright, I think we go up to the second floor. If I remember correctly. Don't we put the France piece in, or... I think there's some things that we do up here. I'm trying to remember. Hey, little lady, how's your evening been going? Ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> I hear that. We all live in the life of an elevator operator. Are you all right, sweetie? You want to see my mask, miss? I'm making it for St. John's. Uh, how did you... Is that supposed to be my... Ow! <sighs> what? You should learn your place, little girl. Why are you acting this way? What did I ever do to you? She's so weird to... To Emily in this version of events. Grace! Grace. <laughs> like first injecting her with the giant syringe of question mark? And then <laughs> okay. That's the jack in the box over there. So is he just At least he's breathing. I'll just let him sleep it off. So this is very different than what happens with Edward. I'll just isn't borrow it? these. Yeah. Uh there's something France. missing. Weird, there's nothing but a health drink? What was in here in Edward's playthrough? Oh, that's very strange. I'm not sure I understand that. Weird. 
Um, is this something in here in Cassandra's room or? Well, basically, oh wait, what's this? Jeremy knew that the only one who could help. Yeah, nine one three. Thanks. Take a look inside the empty room. Well, I'd love to. Is that what the the mask had rem? Oh yeah, that's what the key is for that we just got. Let's go. Um, should I go check Jeremy, Batista, and Proceed's room? I feel like we can't get into Proceed's room anymore, and it's bugged that way. Is that right? I think that might be the case. Detective Combi, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't get back to it in time. I was trying to. I know. I've noticed some games lately have adopted this like doors open and close on their own style, and I don't particularly Brother, I love trust it. Me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I'm pretty sure these ones that I'm picking up I've I've seen before or, or read before. Yeah, I think after you see um, Lottie and Batista, this room locks, but then it's pink. I'm pretty sure it's like pink forever, which is so annoying. All right, well, let's go um, unlock that room, I guess. Which I think the dark man's about to appear, if I remember. I can't take this anymore. But he doesn't really follow us. I think we just do that, and he should be gone. Last time I ran all the way upstairs and nothing happened, so... Okay. Moment Sometimes. of clarity. I think it's one room over in Ruth's room. I think there's a Lanyape that I can only get as Emily. Let's see. Ruth, are you there? Here it is, war photo, yeah. Okay, so that's the second out of three here. So we're only missing three Lanyapes. I think, and they're all for the secret objective, right? Yes. That's really too bad, because we unlocked a hidden memory in the attic, but we can't go up there yet. We haven't been allowed to. Yeah, she's not here. Nope. What's this, by the way? I remember encountering this, and there's something that you can put in it. But I don't think I found anything in, uh... An exercise in animation. Wait, is he this is a very thing? interested in moving pictures, and has even ordered an aeroscope camera for the colony. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of phantasmagoria he will produce. For now, his zoetrope entertains me greatly. It's not the little man passing his head, while well, quite humorous. It's the spell of that flickering light as it rotates. I swear, it takes me back to my childhood in a most profound way. I don't think I found this one with Edward. Oh, I hope I haven't been like picking up clues and like passing by them. Yeah, there's a puzzle here, an Emily exclusive puzzle. Well, I'm not really sure what to do for that. Yeah, we gotta go to the infirmary. I know we gotta do that. Uh... No, we can't go in there yet. Oh! Oh! What is going on here? Okay, okay, hang on. There should be... Something, yep. Here we go. 
Alanyape right here. Yay, we got the goat without horns. Alanyape set complete. Now we can finally get a secret objective. Edward had heard the whispers for years. When he lived in Brooklyn, it was only on rare occasions. Like when he as a child climbed that tall tree in Central Park, or when he almost drowned in the Hudson River trying to save his despaired mother. The whispers became more common as he moved to New Orleans, but still rare enough to be ignored. Now, as he walks the halls of Dorsetto, he knows what is calling him. He doesn't want to admit it, but the dark young in the conservatory is telling him to sacrifice the Cabrisan corn. The dark young in the conservatory is telling him to sacrifice. So is that a secret objective for Carnby? Like if I play as him, then I have a, a secret objective. I don't know. That's not really what I thought it would be. What's the secret? Okay, I guess I have to be Edward for that one. Which means another playthrough. Right? I don't know. Huh. Can we never get the key for this thing? At least on Edward's playthrough. Curious if uh, maybe we get it in this one. You need the key. Excuse me. What's happening? Did that happen as Edward? I'm not sure if it did. A thousand Maybe. young. Hypothet. Okay. Oh, the electrical fuse, right? Surgery room key. Hmm. Okay, I think we go into the surgery room. I tried to use the radio radiograph on the door. How silly of me. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there, Jeremy. What's this? Your little Black of the Woods rant, but uh, I've had about enough. Okay, so I've got enough fuses. Uh. Okay, now I gotta remember exactly what to do here. Uh, do a little puzzle, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. I think it's this, isn't it? Yep. Oh, that's better. Okay, now... Supposedly... I think there's a land yap after you get... the power back on? Maybe? Supposedly? I remember reading that, at least. That after you get the power on, there's, um... There's a land yap that appears. I don't know, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm way off. Maybe I, I might need to reread that. Huh. Because, I mean, I got it on... Well, I've been meaning to uh, take a break anyway. Um, to do some dad stuff, but, uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so, uh, I misread the guide. There's a part where we have to turn the power back on, but we haven't gotten there yet. So, we just gotta redo this thing, which, if I remember correctly, I think it's this, something like that. 
and then after that, I don't know. I don't think it's this. Or, or is it? It might be. No. Is it this one? Might be this one. No. Is it... Wait, is it this thing? No, that's, that's like way off. It's gotta be this one. Okay, then... I don't know. Okay, wait, maybe... Maybe it's... Tilted. Like that? Ah! Uh, I don't know. Is it like that? No, I don't remember. I think it's like that. And then this. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Phew. And we got Jeremy's darkness. Well, great. Count our lucky stars. Okay. And now we can leave, but now it's different. Watch out. Yeah. So now we could should be coming up on uh, Emily's unique level in the game. my way. Ah, you're so annoying. Go. Done it. I guess I never got a chance to look around this place. We're gonna do the in memory in the attic. I think it's this. Cause remember we never got to interact with this. They're coming. I have freed hellish forces, and now the price must be paid. The Aseto is the prey of evil. The sun has set. They will find my body, but will not have my soul. I can imagine the master's fury and the terror in the hearts of his slaves. I hear their footsteps. Some may understand what I've done. May God forgive me. Farewell. What would happen if I refuse? Would the whole world come apart? Or would everything conspire to make a new story? Maybe one where I live. Hmm. I'm sorry, Frederick. Well, it's a good thing you had that little epiphany right there. I think I'll hang myself. You know what? Actually, never mind. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. I think it said nobody knew what happened or something like that. Okay, well, so that was the hidden memory in the attic. Not terrible, I guess. All right, now we got to reconstruct the statue. Wow, that was uh, 
to that record time, didn't we? Oh my gosh, it's so blurry. Okay, wait. Oh, it's, uh... 641? Is that right? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse you. Six... Four... One? Yes! We've already done that! Um... <gasps> oh, we're on the ship now. Oh, we gotta go through the ship? Oh boy, okay. I forgot. Can you hop down, Emily, please? Thank you. It feels familiar somehow. Oh, Hello? yeah. Trust me. Jeremy, it does. Where are you? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking me. Jeremy? Can you hear I'm me? I'm stuck in the mud. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll get the boat running. I'll, I'll get you out of here. I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> it's just fun. That's all. It's just funny. Alright. See if we can uh, rush through this. Okay. These things are so annoying. Where'd it go? Oh my god, it's way up there. Wait until the animation's over. There we go. Gotta wait. And we've done it. Now, I mean, really what we should be doing is just not engaging with them at all. Crashed right into the bayou. If I get the motor running... I could try backing into the river. Yeah, they've always got ideas. Man, if you put me on this boat, I'd just be like, well, guess I'm here forever. Don't think I'll ever be getting out of here. Let's see. I think we just need to go down here. I can break the... Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... Cut you off there. Sorry. No, 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 no. Okay, so this game does an annoying thing. I've been quiet about it until now. Now, if you press up here... No, I'll... Don't. They'll start going down if you press up. Oh, no, they don't, actually. It's just the animation is really long. So I'd be pressing up, and it's like they would start going down, or so I thought. And then they would go right back up. But really, that was just an extended animation. So my bad, sort of. Okay. This is, uh, this is why uh, tank controls are superior. Okay, we got the empty gas can. And uh, we use it here. That's a great point. Yeah. Ow! Oh, didn't actually hurt me. Steam that hurts you. Boiling hot steam. It's a trademark of this uh, style of game. Gotta love it. Alright. Thank you. And then now we're gonna pour it in. Okay. We've done it.
Okay, now I guess we go back the same way we came. I think we're gonna have to fight off legions of those little bugs, which I'm not looking forward to. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, we're, we're pretty far along. Let's see if we can sprint to that Molotov before they get there. I got another one. I'm waiting. Where are you? I'll throw this at you. I'll bring it all the way around. The game's trying to stop me right now. <gasps> okay, that works. Okay. Now we go for the next one. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Let's just go. There we go. Okay. I actually get to ride the boat down this time. Oh my god. They're all going up? You fools. I'm down here. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna see if there's anything I missed in here. You guys may remember I was a little, little peeved at this part when I played as Edward. Because I thought, oh yeah. Thought there was some stuff in here that I missed. So let's look around. What's this? Okay, there's a shovel. And uh, bullets, okay, okay. Bullets, you know, again, would have been nice, but. Yeah, there's a lot of supplies. That's really what I, what I was missing. Looks like there's a health drink there, not that we need it. But there's no, like, missing clues or anything like that, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. I was about to say, if there was, like, a note, I would want to get that. I had to die to make the story happen. What are you referring to, Jeremy? Thirty years ago, Frederic needed me to die. Jeremy! You're not making any sense. Come back. Find your focus. Uncle? I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. I escaped my doom. 
Destiny. Again, find your focus. Jeremy! Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in place. Hey, listen to me. We're gonna drown. Calm down, Miss Hartwood. You're not in any danger. <sighs> but... Jeremy, he, he was here, wasn't he? Miss Hartwood, I am beginning to suspect your family curse is catching up with you. Have you ever talked to a doctor about your condition? No. No, I, I was just confused. I thought I saw him for a moment. I'm fine. I'll let you be. Miss, I want you to know I'm here to help, if you need me. Okay. I think... A ghostly voice sounding like Jeremy called out for help. Emily couldn't quite understand where the voice was coming from. It somehow seemed to be a part of the place itself. All she could make out was that Jeremy was stuck and needed her to get the steamboat running. I think my opinion so far on the Emily versus Edward thing and having two different storylines, it's a cool idea, but I kind of wish that there was more of a deviation. Like, it's nice that the cutscenes are different, but the conclusion from the cutscenes is pretty much the same thing. Like, there's... What we get from the Emily cutscenes... This is my room. ...are very similar to what we get I from the Edward cutscenes. I'll wait here alone in when the dark. Listen to me I when this. I get back. Death do us part. I oh. Break that. Yep. Okay, so here we go. We're about to go to like, I think, what's the gonna image. be a, a, a truly different scenario. So 918 is the code. Is that the same as the code for, um... I don't know the combination. Wait. For Edward? Maybe I do. <sighs> you always start with the left. It's interesting. Flash bulb. Okay. Use the photography to create artificial light Don't to Emily. I finally found that photograph from my time in France during the war. I don't expect this to be your fiancé, but it did make me think of him. What an incredible man he must have been. You were lucky in a way. He could have been a nobody and died falling into the Mississippi. Instead, he volunteered to travel across the world to fight for people in despair. Dying with honor like Achilles at Troy. I am jealous of you. Or maybe him. It's all incredibly romantic. That's what I wanted to say. Please feel free to use my camera if you want to. It might cheer you up. It might bring him closer to you. Even if just in memory. Ruth. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Ruth. We get it. How long have I been here? Keep it in your pants, Ruth. All right. Can I open this? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I did open it earlier. All right. So now we can finally get to interact with the camera. That's one thing that I was wondering about. Is this how you travel, Ruth? The war in Europe I thought we were in first person for a moment. So we're in the trenches. Interesting. You're a little chatterbox, you know that? Thousand souls have perished in. 
So did he die of the flu? Did John Marcus die of the flu? I'll find you, John. Interesting. What was that? What was that? Oh. Maybe I'll get my Tommy gun out. Um, can I open that, please? That's okay, you don't have to, I guess. Wow. Nineteen eighteen. Okay, I'm trying to... It's not letting me interact. The the prompts not coming up. I can't I can't stealth into there. Okay, that is annoying. Do I have to reload? Yeah, none of the prompts are coming up. Okay, uh, load game. Yeah, I guess we'll reload. Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay. I'll find you, John. Might have to restart the game if it doesn't work again. What was that? Yeah, is that that is that that creature from the hateful mound? Yeah, okay. We can we can do it now. Yeah, I guess it was just bugged. Okay, let's uh open this one now. Or go through this one now, rather. Not open it. It's already open. Left or right? Let's go left. Ooh. Is this a maze, perhaps? Maybe instead of going under that, I'll go around it. Oh. Okay. Looks like we gotta go through it. There's a game that I, I didn't play called uh, Trenches that I want to check out. It's, um... John. I'm right here. It's a game... Horror game. World War One horror game where you're in the trenches. That's all I know about it. Uh, I think you could even play it co-op? I'm not really sure. I never played it, though. I wonder, if it, I wonder if I should check it out at some point. If any of you played it in the comments, please tell me if you recommend it or not. Because I, I, these days, like, I literally, I literally can't play any bad horror games anymore or else I'm going to... Like, I'm at the point where if I play a bad one, it sticks with me in a really bad way. It, like, kills all my enthusiasm for a couple of days. I, I don't know how to explain it. I know that sounds super lame. But like when I play a bad horror game now, I'm like, that game really sucked. And then I'm just in a bad mood about video yeah. games. For a while. So yeah, let me know if it's worth my time. Or if it, I hope it, what, what I don't want is I don't want it to be like a thing like, Oh, but it's a dead end. And then I turn around and I'm like, oh, the scene changed. If, they, if, if it's like a blooper team game, then I, I can't do it can't do it. It's not good. Not good enough. Press Y to sneak? Oh, it is that thing. Oh God, I thought I was done with you. Interesting. Sorry, I know you can here I'll I'll move. So you can see it. Watch out. He's sniffing. Sneef sneef. Mm. 
Yo, know, you're really bad at this. Thanks, bud. I'm guessing I can't just, like, kill that thing. Okay. I think I gotta go through here. Like, sure, we can't just shotgun it in the face about 45 times or anything like that. Saved. Okay, I guess I can't. Anyways. <laughs> Thanks for the health drink. Was I even injured? I don't know if I was even injured. Okay, there's a couple Molotovs here. This is a really cool level. I think the content of it though, is not as interesting as um, Edward's level. So can I fight this guy or not? I think since it's encouraging me to sneak, the answer is no. I don't know. Because if you could just kill it, then like, there'd be no point in the stealth. I kind of like that though, you know, especially since I've got the combat on easy. You know, sneaking around. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Sneaking around kind of makes it a little bit more challenging. If it is an invincible creature, especially. To the trench. Okay, I guess we're good. Okay. Yeah, I think... I get that we're looking for John. Just kind of looking around, maybe like for a clue or something like that. I guess that's not him, huh? Ow! Oh, oh good, a Debris. See if I can get away with this. <laughs> uh, come on, buddy. Come on, dude. Oh, you're really shit at this, aren't you? Got a hatchet, y'all. Watch out. He didn't even hear that. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm back here for some reason. Well, why do I... Oh, there's two different ways that you can go in. Okay. I'm, I'm on board now. Gotta shimmy. <laughs> so 
to front line. Oh, shit. What the hell? Okay, so it was supposed to happen? Because, like, it, the door was locked. Kind of weird, right? There's no way I can kill that thing. Well, it's dead. Look. Look at it over there. Um... Okay. Find your fiance. Well, we're still not there. Oh. Oh. Today, the American Expeditionary Forces face considerable John? losses in France. A brave men fallen on these in John. Forever be oh, John. Not of just Europe, but the world. What's the matter? President Woodrow Wilson spoke to our I can't do this. Asking them to stand tall. What's the matter? I can't take you dying again. Speak of them proudly. And remember I'm still them. hurting. What's the matter, Emily? But the war effort in Europe is not our Your death was just so death on the shameful. On the rise due to Unfair. Influenza known as the Spanish flu. The New Orleans City Council decided to open yet another emergency hospital in the old Dorsetto Plantation. Yeah. Where is this? Where am I? Emma. I have a hunch. Yes! We're a bit we're beyond the door. Oh yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yeesh. Fantastic. Is this the Are we gonna find Oh come on? Really? The light's not working? I need the key. Hmm. Okay, now... There's supposed to be two Lanyapes in this upcoming area, I think. Um... Okay, right here. Okay, here we go. Wait, what does it say? Keep away, result in fatal damage. Oh, okay, I thought maybe they were like instructions of some kind. Oh, so close. Hmm. That's annoying. There we go. That's better. Okay. Derseto entombment plans B. Set of technical drawings detailing how parts of Derseto will be sealed off. Well, yep, they did that. Okay, now we can finally look around, get these. <gasps> Box of biscuits! All the world's a stage. Secret objective unlocked. Okay, let's see this one. Life is a stage play performed to no one, applauded by no one, and wanted by no one. A story already written, meant to play out in one way only. I wrote my book in order to explain that there might be more to life. That free will isn't truly free unless it moves against the expected. In retrospect, I think my ambition was hubristic. Yermi had a much more humble suggestion. What if we all just went home? 
So the secret objective is to just go home? Give the kid something to play with. Emily was back at Dossetto, but sealed inside a part of the basement that was no longer. Wait, it says in Grace use. without horns. Give the kid this something to was play with. Clearly a mistake. Emily had confronted her trauma. She deserved her freedom to carry on with her work on the contract. This prison felt like an insult, like the dark man was cheating her. If he wasn't going to honor her progress, then she was on her own. Of all the paperwork left inside this place, there had to be some document showing her a way out. She just had to figure out what the rooms were and how they were sealed. Okay. Okay, so we add that that's the objective though. Find, like, give Grace something to play with. Okay. How am I supposed to know? Oh. Okay, we need that. Have we gotten everything here? There's something in the previous room as well. Um, okay. Well, this is... Can I rotate this? Oh my gosh, you can. Dorsetto Refuge. Um... I don't really understand... ...what I'm doing with this. Oh, I was really close. You had to look underneath. I guess it's just... I don't know, it's kind of weird. But, it's like, they're covering them up. Whatever. Dark man. Are we done here? Is this what you wanted? Does the dark man represent therapy? The truth. Okay. Now. Here's something you might not think about. Here's the last Lanyape. I'm glad I looked this up because I would have missed it. Toe tag. Dying with dignity. Secret objective. We've got all the Lanyapes. Let's see what this one is. The sign resembles a blessing, save that the first and little fingers are both folded beneath the thumb, whilst the second and third fingers are held up. This dark oh. blessing is said to protect against evil, much like the sign of the horns, which is quite similar, but has a reverse schema. The truth is that the dark blessing is a sign of submission. 
Yeah, to a the dark man. Capitulation to our lesser selves. The sign only protects from evil in the sense that you become a part of it. So I guess the secret objective is to do the sign of submission to the dark man at some point, but how would you even do that? Wash the paint off Jeremy's portrait and learn the secret sign. John Marcus died at Decetto of the Spanish flu. Oh, that's the Emily illness. Emily stopped visiting him because she didn't want to see him waste away. She adopted a lie because it felt better. Right, that he died Emily in the trenches. The pathetic man that passed away in Decetto. But she was very proud of the man she made up. A man who died a martyr in the trenches of France. This must have been the true trauma that the dark man specified in the contract. But why was it Emily's? And not Jeremy's. Okay, we've got a couple of objectives to do here. Hmm. So we can wash the paint off Jeremy's portrait and learn the secret sign. Or we can give the kids something to play with. I don't know which of those I'd rather do. I don't know. I got an achievement. Open all the safes and locks in the game. And I got an achievement. Own up to your awful past. Wow. Yeesh. Okay. And then I can I can open this one too, right? What? Okay, I'm just gonna assume I've done everything in there. Give the kid something to play with. I have no idea what that would even be. Okay, so... Hmm, pay Dr. Gray a visit in his apartment. Okay. Which one do we want to do? Kid, something to play with. I don't really have something like that. And I think the third secret objective you can only do is Edward, and you have to sacrifice something. Just from the sounds of it. Okay. So how do we do these? Let's see. Dr. Gray. Let's see. The best way to do that. I guess we gotta go... Yeah, I'm doing the right thing. Okay. Oh. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, my, my daughter's eating dinner right now, and apparently she's really messy. I'm gonna go see her real quick. Alright. I'm back. And I have goldfish. Anyway, um, what are we supposed to do? Oh, we're going up to the second floor, aren't we? Is that right? Yeah, we're going to Dr. Gray's apartment. That's right. Okay. Took me a second to remember. Gotta go to the left, actually. go. Ooh. Now why would it do that? It'll be interesting to see how this goes from the other perspective. Miss Hartwood, lock the door, will you? I'd rather not run into your Dr. Gray if I can help it. This feels strange. So very strange. You okay? This place? It's like something from my childhood. It's just the private study of a very peculiar man. I think this is it. I'm properly mad. You should be. Dr. Gray's playing with fire. 
Dercetto's a powder keg of loonies, all ready to play their part in a murderous cult. I'm trying to say I've lost my mind, Detective. The Hartwood curse has caught up with me. I'm sure you're exaggerating. Try to focus on whatever you've been doing. Right. Breaking the Dark Man's contract. Whatever I've been doing! Is it matter anymore? There's a book missing. Oh yes, this incredible puzzle right here. Okay, let's go. Whatever I've been doing. How dare you. A secret door. Yeah. Like I was just doing Careful. whatever I've been Let doing. First. Now we're talking. Great job, Emily. So you're a lot more encouraging than Emily was in the Edward playthrough. Found anything? Oh, Dr. Gray's in so deep, I knew it. He's as mad as his patients. I mean, look at this. She who can till the soil of this sick world and begin again. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Absolute insanity. Agreed. I have the strangest sensation that this is somehow Jeremy's room. What? No. This is Dr. Gray's private quarters. Right. Mm-hmm. I feel... I want to apologize, Detective, for my elusive behavior tonight. I'm glad you haven't given up on me and my uncle yet. Ah, oh, you got nothing to apologize for. In fact, you've been out of my hair for most of the evening, you're self-reliant, and you've been helping with your own particular brand of investigation. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you're an exemplary client. Thank you, Edward. Mr. Carnby. Please, call me Eddie. All right. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. Right. This has something to do with the numbers for the talisman. Let's see. This oh yeah, the snake dagger. Oh yeah, I think I think the uh, the code is zero zero zero, isn't it? Isn't there something in here? Should I even be doing this? Do I want to know? Yeah. Hell yeah. Jesus Christ, why would you paint this, Jeremy? What on earth possessed you? So, instead of the uh, the lantern in the book, oh God. it's the sign of the dark man. Submit to the dark man. And the snake dagger. Oh yeah, here we found the furniture key somehow. I can't believe I didn't see that before. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so now we gotta submit to the dark man. How do we do that? Do I interact with this somehow? No? How do I do it? All oh, right, the phone call. Is Dark Man gonna call me? And then I say, I just submit. You know, I kind of wish that instead of Dark Man, it was Dar Man. He'd be, a, he'd be a much more interesting antagonist, and a far scarier one as well. Hello? Who's there? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the Dark Man. You can't save him. Jeremy is with the Dark Man? Where? <clears throat> Who is he? What, what is the Dark Man? The 
that podcast. He will come for you too. Aren't you supposed to say Kois? The Hotwood Kois. Come on. Investigate the broken clock. Okay, I guess we're just it's just business as usual or Yeah, I don't know, I guess so. Is that right? There we go. Zero, zero, zero. <clears throat> okay, now we go into Narnia. I guess. Look at me, I'm moonwalking. You heard the telephone ring, right? No, the telephone's cut off. I tried calling the police earlier. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Mr. Carnby? What? Nothing, right? That's a closet. That's right, detective. I'll see you later. I have to finish this. You're going inside the closet? I know what it looks like, but I can't explain it, much less justify it. All right. You do what you have to do, miss. Goodbye, detective. Okay, so now we just have the boss fights left. I think. Although I'm I'm anxious to see when we're supposed to like submit to the dark man. You know? Okay, yeah. Here we go. Um, right. Here we go. This is what you're supposed to do. But I never did it. Well, whoopsie. Okay. I think it's right here. Hmm. Sorry, I don't have a whole lot of new things to say. What is there to say, though, you know? Oh, here we go. Can you, like, freeze to death out here, or...? I noticed there's like some frozen edges on the edge of the screen, but I don't think they mean anything. I could be wrong about that. There we go. Swap to the real gun. Give Grace something to play with. I wonder if I can get both of those endings somehow. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out soon. Because I'd like to see what those are like. Yellow. Can I get in there, please? Investigate the ruins. Oh, well, whenever you have a chance. Thank you. Here we are. Guess we'll kill Jacob now. Who are you? What do you want? Emily. You should not have come. Hey, we can talk about this. No, we can't. It's too late for that. It's too late. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. 
Okay. We're gonna reload here. Exciting. I get to- you know what? I'm actually looking forward to fighting again. This will be fun. This was a fun boss fight. Oh, we gotta do this thing. I forgot. We're making the shape, right? Okay. The dark man is gonna be in the middle of your existence, Jeremy. He'll at least set everything in order. Is that right? Okay. Oh, is it this? Okay, now we just need to... Uh... Is it like this? Is that it? Okay, yeah. So I took the longest possible route to get to it. Where's his HP? He doesn't have an HP bar. Is it the same? I don't understand. Why are you here? I did everything you wanted to break the pact. What else can I do? Oh. Wait. It did work. That's why you're coming after me. You're in my head now. In that case, I hope you enjoy your stay. Emily, stop! Don't worry. We got you. Oh, I thought I was gonna submit. No? Oh. I thought that's why she was looking at her, her right hand was to be like, oh, or whatever. It's, isn't it this? Oh, 
Oh, get away from me, kid. What are you gonna do? Inject me with another giant are you syringe? Alone? Or is he in there with you? You're a little weirdo, you know that. Miss Hotwood is up. Heard you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece. Stick around, will you? It's gonna be an exciting night. You're a little too excited to see the little girl get sacrificed to, to the made it, miss. to the god. All that ruckus. Lot of give you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Is he all right? Mm. He's a little strange, but everything else is back to normal. Really? I broke the pact? I don't know what you did, but you worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. Jeremy, are you okay? I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily, I missed you so. I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Is it anesthesia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. It turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. It's actually quite impressive, considering your technique. This is permanent? You sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt, but it works. That's terrible! Perhaps. This is not appropriate music for this. Suffer anymore. <laughs> really? Do you remember I mean, I the fine. dark man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see, with a violent stab, you made any future treatment quite redundant. I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Carnby. Right. Okay. Go back to New Orleans. You know, as much as I'd love to go around and talk to everyone else for like 40 minutes, um, I think I'm just gonna kinda, oh. Give Grace something to play with. Okay. What does this do? What I give her? Huh? Hey kid, what are you up to? Nothing much. Yeah? Anything I'm gonna have to pay for? You're bored, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell. You wanna see if we can tear your mother away from the play? What? Can you believe they're still going? It's been hours. You forgot this. Well, I just didn't want you to think we had abandoned you in there. Can we go home? Yes, please, can we? What, you guys didn't like the play? It was all right, a little difficult to follow. Wait. Oh, I agree. Let's just say there were moments where it uh, left me alone in the dark. <laughs> oh God. That's the name of the play. Whoa, what? what do you know? Did you like it, sweetie? There should have been a hedge maze. A hedge maze? Uh-huh, and pirates. <laughs> that would have been fun. Were there was there well, a hedge maze and pirates in the original time. game, in the nineteen ninety two version?
<laughs> okay. Well, that is not what I expected. Um, not at all. Okay, so I guess that's a secret ending. Um, right. Fail, I fail to see how giving her something to play with results in the whole shower ending, if you will, where we just wake up and uh, none of it was real. Why, why'd I call it the shower ending? I guess you're like daydreaming in the shower. There's been a movie like that, right? Where like the, the whole movie happens and then the person's like in the shower and they're with, like daydreaming it and they're like, Ehh. why'd I call it the shower ending? You guys get what I meant though. So wait, can I still submit to the dark man? Is it too late? Cause like I learned the sign. Sure. So can I still, can I still do that here? How would I be able to do that? Let's see. Wait for Detective Carnby. Is there another way that we can... Okay. Hang on. I'm going to look up how to get... Submit to the dark man. Let's see. Um... Oh, we missed it. Wait, what? Oh, we can't do it anymore. At the end of chapter four, when you meet the dark man, don't skip the cutscene. Okay, I didn't skip it. During the cutscene, when Emily pulls out the gun, you will get control back. Lower the gun and hold up your left hand. What? I mean, I... When... Would I have been able to do that? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And there's no... There's no Oh, we could have done a manual save. I just didn't even think about it. Oh, well, you can YouTube those endings. I might do that myself. Look those up on YouTube. I did all the work for him, too. Okay, well... That, that is, I didn't even realize that I had control. I had control? Like, I, I remember thinking, like, this is a little weird. Like, cause she was like pausing for a while, but like, how, how am I supposed to lower the gun in the cutscene and raise my left hand? There's no, there's no way that you raise your left hand during the game. There's also no way that you lower your gun. Well, the way that you lower your gun is by letting go of the button, like not pressing the aim button. That's how you lower your gun. But I wasn't aiming, so... I don't know. That's a little... Whatever. Like I said, I'll just... I guess I'll just YouTube it. Alright. Well, we're officially done with Alone in the Dark. Um... Playing through as both characters... Eh, I don't know. I, I mean... It's... I don't regret playing as both characters, but I... I wasn't like enthralled by it. I think that Emily's chapter is less interesting than Edward's. <laughs> the one where you just like, you're basically just like running around the trenches being like, John, John. I don't know. And then you're like stealthing from that monster, but then the monster dies from a uh, collapsing tunnel there. And then the secret objectives I guess are just all for secret endings. The hidden memory in the attic was okay, but I wouldn't say it was worth it. Uh, all the hassle getting it. And then 
Um, yeah, that secret ending was basically just, it was like the dog ending uh, for Silent Hill. It's just like, what? Well, a dog was behind us the whole time, you know? It's just kind of a joke ending, I guess. And I wasn't expecting that when the objective was just give Grace something to play with. Uh, Submit to the Dark Man would be an interesting uh, ending. You know what? Let's just react to it. Let's just react to it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to look it up. I'm looking it up. Submit to the Dark Man. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so this is going to be... Uh, oh, give me one second. This is going to be on the channel Ben Gunn. Just so you know. Uh, and I'll go ahead and quit the game so that we can get rid of that music in the background. And voila! Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is all the Lanyapes. We don't need to see that. Okay, so here, here. We haven't seen this. Move L3 down and right when Ellie pulls out her gun. Who's Ellie? Well, thanks, Ben Gunn. Appreciate that you did this for us. We can at least see it and react to it. Okay, I'm going to skip forward a little bit. Okay, here we go. Is this text going to be on screen the whole time? I don't understand. Why are you here? I did everything you wanted to break the pact. What else can I do? Oh, okay. So right here. See, I thought that was kind of weird. Oh. See, I did not get that that's what I was supposed to do. All right, we're submitting to the dark man. Now what? Is there supposed to be no audio here? Where are you, Emily? I'm in his temple. Why? It's what I see when I close my eyes. Are you afraid? No. Not anymore. Is that it? That's the whole secret ending? <laughs> okay, um, well, that was fun. Who had fun? Raise your hand if you had fun. But I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna bother to look up uh, Edward's sacrifice ending. That was really quick. So that's a lot of work for like not a lot of payoff really like like the best ending is just the normal one that's whatever um yeah you know i think my opinion on alone in the dark is very similar to what it was in part six when i initially finished the game it's on the high end of mediocre for me um i think there's too many flaws too many shortcomings to give it like a glowing review or anything like that and, um, as usual with a lot of these games, like, 100%ing all the collectibles, getting all the collectibles doesn't really net you anything that satisfying. It's like, when I, when I went out of my way to get everything in Alan Wake 2, it wasn't that great. When I did that in Spider-Man 2 as well, it wasn't that great. Um, and now, you know, all the Lanyapes in this, it's just like, you get like a little... Something extra, and I guess I understand the reason for that, like, you don't want to put too much time and resources into developing, you know, an extra scene or an extra whatever for, like, a very, very small percentage of players that are gonna actually go the extra mile and do the thing. But it is demotivating me from doing that in the future, I guess, uh, with these games, at least on the, on the channel, because there's a lot of extra time 
you know, scoping out every single corner, um, making sure I didn't miss anything, kind of slows the pace of the playthrough down a lot, you know, pixel hunting, and I just kind of, eh, it's not really, not really been worth it, so I don't know how much I'm going to do that in future playthroughs. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next playthrough. Think critically.